are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing great. I'm going to concentrate on this camera because my other one is lagging. Anyway, I hope you are having an awesome Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow we get out for Christmas holidays here at my house. Yay! I can't wait. I had a really good day today. I wrapped 12 presents today. And I only have 20-something more to go. And then I'll have all the presents wrapped. And I uh, will still have to do stocking stuffers. But those are pretty easy. My goal is to, instead of me being the one, I got a stray here. All right, well, I don't know. It must be. That's just really weird. Okay, well, I don't even know where it's coming from, but it doesn't want to go with the rest. I think it's static electricity, maybe. Okay, so anyway. Uh, my goal is for Christmas Eve, for me not to have to put anything together, wrap any presents, just put them all in the living room. Because I, I usually, I buy everything, I wrap everything, I put stuff together that has to be put together. Like, that is my job. I, I make God supplies the money, and I make Christmas happen in my family. But I want to have a Christmas Eve to where I don't have to worry about those things. I want to eat some fudge, drink some eggnog, and just not have to worry about getting all this stuff done. So I'm working on it now. And hopefully by next Saturday, I'll have it all done and by next Friday night I'll have it all done <laughs> and I won't have to worry about it. I'm in the process of doing Seth's testing. We did half today. We're going to do half tomorrow. We did like speaking and uh, hands-on testing today. Tomorrow we're doing computer testing. All right. Tonight, we are going to talk about Psalm 62 and 63. And if 63 is, if those two are short, then we may do 64 also. Anyway, let us pray. God, we just come to you and we thank you. We praise you for all the many things that you do in our lives. We praise you that you are on the throne on your throne and you are in control God and there is nothing that you do not see or do not hear there is nothing you're in control of all things you are the great Jehovah you are the great I am you are magnificent and powerful and mighty thank you for being our creator our sustainer our protector our provider our shelter in the storm our strength and our refuge God and so much more. That's that's just a little bit of what you do. You do so much more. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness according to your truth. And you are loving and caring and compassionate and kind. And you are trustworthy and faithful. You are forgiving. You are patient, God. You want none to perish. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray, God, that you would open their eyes and their ears and their hearts to the truth, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals to return, God. We just pray for them to remember the relationship that they once had, to return and to repent and to be reconciled god we just pray for also all these people that have been in these bad storms these tornadoes there were tornadoes last night too god we pray 
for these people. We pray for these communities to heal, God. We pray for peace, comfort, and strength for the ones that lost loved ones or even animals, God. We pray for um, healing for the ones that are in the hospital recovering. And we pray for the ones that were spared, God. We just pray that you would give them healing moving forward, God. We pray for these communities, that they would be able to build, God, that their needs would be met by the hands and feet of Jesus and the loving compassion of Jesus. And God, for all the other disasters that have gone on, not really disasters, but tragedies, the school shooting, the bus crash here in Texas that took a, a band director God for um, the Christmas parade where many where um, people got killed and many were injured and God the thing that happened in Houston many things senseless God that make no sense and were so unnecessary but still people died God so we pray, we pray for peace and comfort and strength for these families. And we pray for the ones that were injured, God, that they will heal completely, that their bodies will be restored. And we pray, God, that for healing for all the memories, we pray for healing, for emotional healing, physical healing and spiritual healing, God. We pray that during these times, these people would be drawn to you. We thank you that the volcano in La Palma has quit erupting right now. And we just pray for safety for those um, because the air quality is not good, God. We just pray for them. We pray that their needs would be met, God. We pray that maybe this is over, but we don't know, God. And uh, we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And we pray for people that are sick, that are recovering from procedures and are recovering at home, God. We just pray for healing and we pray for strength and that you would be with them and be with their families. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, pray and share, warriors. That was the prayer part. My name is Charm, and this is my ministry called Awesome Treasures Ministry. And uh, if you want to subscribe, then subscribe. If you want to hit like, if you want to hit, you want to add something to the comments, feel free. And I have added Bible trivia to my comments. So if you want to participate in that, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that, whether that's going to be a contest, whether it's, I just don't know. I really haven't gotten any guesses on any of the answers yet. So it's just question, one question that goes with what we just got through studying. I just think it's fun. I like Bible trivia myself. I've always loved that game. It's so much fun to play. We used to play with it at play as a church family and play women against men and that was so fun okay so psalm 62 and 63 i think that's plenty to read okay so psalm 62 is a calm resolve to wait for the salvation of god to the chief musician to Jedithan, and this is another psalm of David. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you attack a man? You shall be slain, all of you, like a leaning wall in a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his high position. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Wow. I see some people on the main stage that fit that perfectly. They delight in their lies. 
and they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. I see a lot of that. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are a vapor. Men of high degree are a lie. If they are weighed on the scales, they are altogether lighter than vapor. Do not trust in oppression, nor vainly hope in robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. God has spoken once. Twice I have heard this. That power belongs to God. Also to you, O Lord, belongs mercy. For you rendered each one according to his work. Okay, well, that was quite a bit. That was mostly him saying how God is his rock and his salvation and his defense, his glory, his strength. That we need to trust in him at all times, trust in God at all times. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. So let's read what the study part of this says. Quiet waiting enables us to reflect on the greatness of God and endure steadfastness. The psalmist's soul, his total being, waits expectantly on God as he extolled the nature of the God on whom he waited. He is my rock, my salvation, my defense, my glory, my strength, my refuge. In a world of activity, we find it difficult to wait on God or anyone else, much less to wait alone in silence. The psalmist would remain firmly established because of his faith in God. So David, he had a lot of faith in God. He trusted God. Like this says, God is his salvation, his strength, his refuge, his defense. He's, you know, he named all the things that God is to him. So let's see what 63 is about. Joy in the fellowship of God. A Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. In my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth, they shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. Okay, well, there is a study part of this, too. And this is all praise, beautiful praise and worship for God. That he will praise him. He will praise him on his bed. He will meditate on him in the night watches. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. This is beautiful. This, this whole thing would make a beautiful, beautiful song. And I think that parts of this are in a song. 
just can't think of which one. If you can, then put it in the comments and we'll have a conversation about it. Okay, so the psalm begins with a confession of faith that God is my God. The psalm superscription identifies it with an occasion when David was in the wilderness of Judah. David acknowledged a personal, intimate relationship with God in which his longing for God is, an, is as intense as the longing of dry, parched lips for water. Through his disciplined practice of worship in the sanctuary, David experienced God's strength and glory as wonderfully real to him. He had experienced God's loving kindness, steadfast love, or covenant loyalty. The poet praised God for his faithful love, which was more dear to him than life itself. That is a good... Oh, my eye is itching. That is a good uh, description of what we just got through reading. And I think that we'll do 64 and 65 and maybe 66 tomorrow. I just feel like doubling up. I'm getting through a whole lot faster than if I just do one a night. So we're getting through twice as fast doing that. Well, wow. My eye is itching open this up <clears throat> so I can read to you what I shared on Facebook today. I don't know why I shut it down. I do that sometimes. Not quite knowing why I do things sometimes. Might be because I've gotten a little older. No, Facebook doesn't want to open. Facebook is really slow. But it's not dragging like my camera is. I got me a new camera. But I don't want to set it up yet. I'm going to wrap it up for Christmas. Even though I know what it is. And uh, and so we'll see if it's better than the one I have. It is, it drags so bad. All right, what is this? Well, I didn't go into the right thing. It reminds me, I need to go listen to my granddaughter's Christmas program. Uh, what is what is back on Facebook? I don't want to go into that. I want to go into this. Oh my goodness gracious. Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with Facebook. Now I don't know what's wrong with Amazon. There we are. Well, this is not my other thing. I don't want to watch that. There we go. Facebook apparently is changing things up. I want to open this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, where is half of my page? It's missing. Okay. So sorry. I think maybe now 
and do this. Maybe make it a little wider. Technical difficulties. Mother-in-law asked me about Facebook, and I'm like, really slow lately. It's not, I don't know. All right, here we are. This is such a good song. This is uh, Mary, Did You Know? But this is sang by CeeLo Green. And it has clips from the Son of God, which is a story about Jesus. And this is so good. I did not write much about it because I want you to go watch it because it is so impactful. It shows Jesus being born. It shows all the miracles that Jesus does. And it is so good. So please go watch it and let me know what you think. So this is what I wrote. This is such a beautiful song and message. I love these video clips of all the miraculous things that Jesus did while he walked with man. How awesome for Mary to see Jesus go from her innocent baby to the Savior of the world. Did Mary know how Jesus would lay down his life for the entire world? These video clips give us a visual for the story stories in God's word about Jesus. We see the love and compassion in his eyes. Jesus is the best gift of all that we celebrate this season, but really he deserves to be celebrated every day. He does. He deserves to be celebrated every day. Celebrate Jesus today in every day. Is Jesus your savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved. If you have strayed away, return, repent, and be reconciled. The love of God for you never changed. If you strayed away from God, don't think that God loves you any less than he loved you when you got saved. His love never changes. So whatever you've been doing, God knows it all. He knows everything. Repent and return and be reconciled. Have that relationship made new as if it was never a broken relationship. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Come just as you are. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Leave the old and receive the new. So that is what I wrote today. And let's find a way to do the salvation message. How about God's invitation? Can't see too well on YouTube the picture as well as you can on um, at least my eyes are green on. YouTube. They're kind of, I don't know, I probably need to go back and work on the adjustments again on this camera, but I don't know why it's lagging. I mean, there's no reason for that. Okay, well, let's get back to this. Okay, so this is God's invitation into his heaven because it is his heaven. It is not mine. I am only going to be a citizen of heaven because I accepted Jesus as my Savior, and you can you can have the same thing. Jesus offers the same thing to everyone. Jesus died for everyone. So have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. 
repent and turn to the one true God. So here are some scriptures that go along with salvation. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 God commandeth his love toward us in that in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Romans 6, 23, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. So heaven is our reward. It's God's heaven, but it's our reward. So if you'll look at this picture back behind me, that's a picture that resembles what John saw. It's uh, the new heaven. When John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is a salvation prayer. And if you would like to invite Jesus to be your Savior, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that you are God's one and only son that came to teach, heal, love, and forgive. You died on the cross for all sinners. You rose from the tomb on the third day. You ascended into heaven and will come back to usher your church into heaven. I confess you as my Savior, inviting you into my heart to live and reign forever. Thank you for your gift of salvation. Please give me strength to withstand the temptations in my life. Help me to, to praise and glorify you daily. Help me to grow in my relationship with you daily through Bible study and prayer. In your precious name, I pray. Amen. Okay, if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and uh, the angels are rejoicing. Every time one, one is saved, the angels rejoice. You are now saved sealed and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, his son. So if you would like to grow closer to God in your relationship and read his word every day and pray and find some praise music, music that lifts up the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. All right, this is God's blessing to you. And it is in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We all need you. Peace is so important. So keep walking with Jesus. That's what God keeps telling me. Keep walking with Jesus. All the perfect rewards of beauty, of love, joy, peace, unity, they're all in heaven. We can have glimpses of that here, but the perfection is in heaven with God and with Jesus. So let me pray, and I've got to go feed my child. I made spaghetti tonight, and it is about the only normal kid thing that he will eat. And I have I feed him at least once a week. I feed him spaghetti because it has protein in it. Okay. God, we just praise you and thank you for having the opportunity to learn more about your word tonight. For being reminded that you are our shelter. You are our strength. You are our glory. You are our stronghold. You are that we can shelter under your wings. That you are our refuge. You are our defense. God, thank you. Thank you for being all those things and so much more to us. I just pray for every family, God. All of my family members, all of my friends, anyone that comes here, God, I pray for abundance, blessing, abundant blessing upon them. And I pray, God, that you would uh, provide for them and protect them, God. I pray that if any anyone needs Jesus as their Savior, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. I pray that you would give us the boldness, God, to just go out and proclaim your truths and proclaim the gospel of Jesus that you would give us the hands and feet of Jesus, the love and compassion of Jesus, God, the humility of Jesus, that you would help us to be humble, that you would help us to be reverent, and that you would just help us to be kind and compassionate, and that you would just uh, bless us with a good rest of the night, God, and that you would protect us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my pray and share warriors. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, like, subscribe if you want. Um, I'm hoping the quality of my videos will be better in the future, especially on YouTube. Um, I got me a ring camera, so I'm thinking that that will make my lighting better, maybe. I don't know. I'm just winging it. I am not a professional when it comes to this. I am just being obedient to what God has called me to do. And that is what I'm going to continue to do until Jesus comes to get me out of here. So um, have an awesome rest of your night. I had to think, is it afternoon or not? It's not. It's already dark outside where I live. Have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome Friday tomorrow. And uh, I will be back on here tomorrow afternoon, I think. I need to do some things on my computer tomorrow. Sometimes when I'm on the computer all day, I don't want to get back on it later. Anyway, I will try to be on here, though. So much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.